Hi everybody, Bon here and welcome to the tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create beats for the BeatPass 64. Let's get started. So the program that we are going to be using to create beats is called FL Studio 12, an amazing program that I say highly suggest you all try it out. It's amazing and very simple to use. So let's get started. So to, the first thing that you need to do is go to Add, Channel and open the Slice 6 plugin. Now this is the plugin that we are going to be using to make beats. Now this comes with all FL Studio uh, I believe with all FL Studio sign, like it comes with 11 and 10, I believe. So, yeah. Next next thing you want to do is add a song. To add a song, you click on the file and click load sample. Now, we are going to be using uh, the song I just did a cover on. So, if you want to see it, the link is down in the description for my 250 subscriber special. Alan Walker, Sing Me to Sleep, Marshmallow, Di Marshmallow Remix. Sorry. So, let's load the sampling. Now, this is how it looks when the sample is loaded. Press. See, it works fine. So, the first thing what I, need, uh, what I usually do is at the beginning, we only, as you can see, there's always this small part with this new song. So, what you have to do, you can left click and drag to, to highlight an area, as you can see, and just click delete to delete that area. So, the song starts immediately. So, the song starts immediately, as you can see. Next thing, what you need to do uh, that we will do actually. Is select the area you want to make a sample like as we did in the beginning we're going to sample this part and once you have the area highlighted click uh, here at this one next to the uh, drum loop thing I have no idea how you actually pronounce this just uh, left click uh, sorry right click this icon and it will make a region now this is how we are going to create our beats as you can see we can start now uh, we can put regions to select places we want to cut so we will have an easier job so I'm making random regions here uh, you don't have to do it like this you have to be you can be more precise I'm just making this for the tutorial as you see Wait a second, let me catch my breath. because it's easier to highlight instead of just going like this every time you have to do stuff it will just gets annoying so select the region you want to cut and say so once you make the regions uh, quickly I want to say when you make the regions you have to add snap to grid out snap to grid Turned on, and you have sorry, snap to regions turned on. So by doing that, you have to uh, first turn on the magnet, which is the snap to grid option. Uh, right click and click on snap to regions. So it will actually snap to the regions instead of just going out by just a little bit and you making tons of mistakes. Once you have uh, your region set and you have mapped out the samples you want to do, select the sample and click. Hold on one second, and click Control plus Delete. Now this is now as you can see, we only have. Wait a second, let me we have this part selected. Now, to save a sample, you want to go to Save As, and you can save it as a Microsoft WAV file, or WAV file, whatever you want to call it. Now, now don't mind this B3, this is just a test that I was doing. So, just make a friend, make another folder, and just rename it to some, to the project. So, Sing Me To Sleep Project. So we have that and just save it there. Now, always make your samples uh, how you want to organize them. Always two zero ones and stuff. So and then like fix how I want them. Once you do that, just Control Z to go back to the region. If you get uh, sometimes lost, for example, be in here and just reselect an area, we can't go back as you can see. Or just glitch. So wait, just uh, right click on the undo button. And just go back before you trimmed it so right here the next thing we want to talk about is drum extractions now this is one of the most key things you want to do so to do this go to the part with the song begins for example with the drums right which is right here hold on whoops now to extract a drum what you need to do is just uh, well i suggest first doing one sec is highlight the area where the drum plays firstly. Where's here? So hold on. And just dr drag it to only hear the drum mostly. Oh, we haven't selected it. Let's try to select it better. Well, we'll try to find a better one. Hi. 
So you see that's the best one we can get. And just re make a region so you know. And just drop this in. I guess the snake here works. Let's like try and highlight best as can. Trying to find the best one. There we go. We found a uh, decent one. Now this is not going to be an exact one, like how I actually do it. Like this is practically the way, but need to be more precise to get like the best drums uh, possible. So that's practically it. So we then we can just remove them by Control Delete and just save them. For example, this one has the snare. Just put it back in there, and then the kick as well. There we go. So we have both kicks and snares. A quick thing also to keep in mind: there is this thing called click uh, free smooth editing. You always have to keep that off because if you have this on and you want to extract a kick, this is what you hear. It will always fade out some the beginning and the end. So you need to be careful to, to turn that thing off. Now we learned how to extract a kick, but how do we actually remove it? So go to the beginning, as we said, where the kick begins. Highlight the area with the kick, and click fade in twice. And this is how it sounds. And then for the snare, as well. We're not going to do the exact ones. Do the same here. And this is how it sounds now. As you can see, they have no kicks, and then you can just add the kicks and snares to your beat pad, and it'll be perfect. So anyway guys, I hope this tutorial was helpful enough for you guys. If you want to see a more advanced one, I guess, just comment down below. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, and, I, and also comment down below what other types of stuff you want me to do. And yeah, so anyway guys, I'll see you all next time. Take care.